Genesis 3 1 says, The serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had, past tense, made. So if the person, being, creature called the serpent is evil as Revelation 22 states, and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan. So Christians are made to believe that the serpent of Genesis chapter 3 was the same being as the devil or evil one called Satan. First let's look at what the Quran of Muslims or the Islamic world teaches. Quran 3 to 175 teaches he is friends. Verily, it is only Satan who frightens his near friends. So don't fear them, but fear me, if you are believers. Joshua 10:25, Zechariah 3:1, Hebrews 13:6. The devil they call Shaitan for Satan is a rebel. Quran 22:3, more than one devil. Devils on earth building is found in Quran 38:37. But now in Quran 233-36, God said, O Adam teach the heavenly host by using their names. And when Adam had taught and informed the heavenly host about the meaning of their names, God said, Did I not tell you? Verily I know what is unseen and what is revealed in the heavens and the earth and I know what you reveal and what you have been concealing. And when we said to the heavenly host, Prostrate for Adam. So they all prostrated except the rebellious one. He refused to prostrate because he was full of pride and he was of the concealers of the truth. And we said, O Adam you and your mate are to dwell in the garden of the light of every tree of the garden thou mayest eat freely, but of the tree that's in the midst of the garden you shall not approach it or you will become wrongdoers. So the serpent beguiled them and made them slip so we drove them out from the garden, and we said, Get down from here, Adam, the devil and his fallen angels, some of you will be enemies to others, the serpent seed and Eve seed, and for a while the earth shall be a residence and provide for you. Genesis 3 15-19 and Revelations 12-7-9, makes it clear that the Islamic world sees this being Shaitan as the same being as Nikas, the serpent as found in Genesis chapter 3. He is also called in Quran Iblis, as found in Quran 20-116-121. So as you can see, the Quran claims the same thing. It also claims that this person and his group or race of people is the same as the being in Genesis chapter 3, which is not true, but let's move on to our point. Did the Lord God or Allah Harab create evil in the devil? The Quran says the devil was from the Kafira Ona. The word Kafir and literally means, that which covers the truth, from the word Kufr meaning to cover. Kafir means those who cover over the seed, to cover, to place something on, over, or in front of, so as to hide, overlay with, to extend over, lie upon to conceal, screen. Other variations of this word are Kafara meaning to cover, hide, Akfara meaning, to make an infidel, to call an infidel, accuse of infidelity. The word coffin is from the word kafir. Coffin is a certain thing covered. All of these words are from the same root. A kafir is a farmer. I am not saying that farmers are kafira ona, however I mean that the kafir is similar to the farmer, in that a farmer plants or places his seed in the ground and covers over it, he buries it. In the Arabic of Surat al-Kafir and which translates as the chapter of those who conceal that which they know to be the facts, never does it mention the name of Allah, or any God or Rab, which means Lord, Master, or any of the 99 attributes of Allah, to let you know that this is who the quote is referring to. The entire chapter centers around two people, namely two Arabs saying I don't worship what you worship and you don't worship what I worship. They translate it as disbeliever, and a whole chapter is dedicated to that group of people, Quran chapter 109, Al-Kafir and the Disbelievers. In it they mention the jinn or gene, but the Quran 1527-28 calls jinns men or people, and the jinn we created before of intense hot, smokeless, fire. And remember when thy Lord said unto the angels, Verily I create man of the essence of black mud fashioned into shape. So when I complete him and breathe into him my spirit, fall ye down unto him prostrating, in obeisance. So prostrated, in obeisance, unto him, the angels all of them. Except Iblis, refused he to be with those who prostrated in obeisance. So one thing is clear to the Quran, the Shaitan, Iblis, Jinn was an angel, Malik, who became a physical man, Quran 1850, created from fire, Quran 1527, 55 15 and 46 29 to 30. So it's plain to see that the Muslims got their story of the serpent in the garden from Christian stories, not Hebrews. That is the New Testament, not the Torah, because to the Jew in the Torah, Israelite Hebrew, or whatever they call themselves these days, all of them are wrong. All human and good angels, Malik and evil angels, Malik is from their Lord God or Allah Harab. He created him, then them, Genesis 3 14-15, a seed or offspring it claims, children. Now look at this. Isaiah 45 7, their Lord says, I, Jehovah, form light and create darkness, I, Jehovah, made peace, and I, Jehovah, Lord, 
created evil, online Bible Strong's number 7451 Ra, the same word used in Genesis 2 9. Now in Genesis 1 1 31 and Genesis 2 1 3, there is no mention of the word evil. All things were very tobe good, online Bible Strong's number 2896, but in Genesis 2 4, we see a new name come in, Jehovah God, a new being, and as soon as he can, he in Genesis 2 9 states, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That was the beginning of the use of evil. The question is, by whom? By the Lord, not the Elohim gods of Genesis chapter 1, but this new Elohim called Jehovah, mentioned in Genesis 4 26. So this person or incarnation into flesh, the Lord God created evil and is proud of it. Look at this, Amos 3 6, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord, Jehovah, hath not done it? But people have been fooled by Mosesism, Jesusism, Mohammedism. Look at Jeremiah 4 10, even the prophets Moses, Deuteronomy 18 15, Jesus, Luke 24 19, Muhammad, Quran 33 40. Now let's see what this Hebrew Yahweh Lord or Greek Kyrios, or Arabic Rab, what does he say about his own prophets Moses, Jesus and Muhammad? Ezekiel 14 9, if a prophet is deceived, I the Lord have deceived the prophet. The serpent of Genesis chapter 3 was not the Satan or devil. You get your first mention of Satan Shaitan in 1 Chronicles 21 1, not even in the original five books of Moses called the Torah it reads, and Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. Now look at this 2 Samuel 24 1, and again the anger of the Lord, Jehovah, was kindled against Israel, and he moved David against them to say go, number Israel and Judah. If you read this as it appears, you will plainly see that the Lord Yahweh, Jehovah, the Lord is the very same as Satan, or in Greek Satanas online Bible Strong's number 4567. The devil or evil in your life come from trusting this Lord, Judges 9 23, 1 Kings 22 21 to 22, 1 Samuel 16 14 18 10 and 19 to 9. Now look at this. First read this. 1 Samuel 10 12, and one of the same place answered and said, but who is their father? Therefore it became a proverb, is Saul also among the prophets? So Saul was one of the prophets. Now read 1 Samuel 16 14, but the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And in Hosea 12 5 to 7, the Lord God again deceives and he loves to oppress. He even will deceive his own race, Deuteronomy 20 16 to 18, the Canaanites who worshipped him by many names and he had a prince, a ruler, a son, and a needy messiah, a faker, a false Yeshua Jesus. So he L, created Jehovah, who created of himself Satan. He makes his prophets liars, 1 King 22 23 and Ezekiel 14 9. So evil is both a physical race of people and a six ether spirit force, spiritual demons, ifrits. Now read Jeremiah 22 7, and I will prepare destroyers against thee, every one with his weapons, and they shall cut down thy choice cedars, and cast them into the fire. This Lord gets mad, Deuteronomy 1 37, and swearing also of committing or approving of theft or stealing, Exodus 3 2, or robbery, Exodus 12 36, of even murder, Deuteronomy 13 2. The list goes on, in fact of every crime known above and under the sun. So in Mosesism and their book the Torah, they had no devil. They had nothing for him to do. The Lord Jehovah of the Elohim did it all. He perpetrated the evil as well as achieved the good and to punish the so-called wicked or evil doer with everlasting fire, would have been to build a fire around their Lord God. So it is clear, in Genesis 8 21, put evil inside man's mind and heart. But not before mixing is found in Genesis 6 4, with fallen angels. So this devil was one of them that influenced man. L, Lord, Shaker, Lord, Lucifer, Lord, Satan, Lord of the air but still a Lord, Mark 10 42, Luke 22 25, Lordship. Evil, live, devil, lived. Let's talk about the power of spookism, fear, faith, fiction and the imaginary monster, demons, ghost, devils. This so-called arch enemy, the boogie man or man with big boogas hanging out of his nose. One form of the devil is to instill fear such as ghost stories, Holy Moses, Holy Ghost, spirits, spooks, Satan, Shaitan, dragon, etc. Let's look at a remarkable fact, that God not Lord Devil, was primarily believed to have created and authored the evil force and beings by the old Bible nations, and that this doctrine is taught in the new Bible of the Christian nations and the Quran of the Muslim nations. The words evil and devil seem to have been originally a contraction of the words do evil and hence represents a mere personification of evil words and works. 
And there is an abundance of evidence accessible to prove that the conception of evil and evildoers existed long before the devil or devils was discovered or thought of. So that should his or her devilish lord set up a claim, or any of his or her friends, children, offspring for being the originator or author of evil, Isaiah 42 13. So now in Jesus or Christism as well as Islam or Mohammedism, the devil is assumed to be the source of both sins and evil and God as the source of both good deeds and good only. However, it's clear that the Lord God, Jehovah, is behind all sin and evil and is in fact the Lord God and not to be mixed up with the Chaldean Most High, al Yunal, Genesis 14:18, not to be mistaken for God El or Eli or Elo or Allah. Even in the Arabic there is a difference al Alay, the Most High who is in the Sumerian is an in an Akkadian Anu, not God or as the Old Testament use Hebrew Elohim the plural gods, judges and is used for idols and evil Canaanite gods and the Quran also pluralizes Allah as Alihat, Allahs or gods. Even has a feminine Elad and Alad. So al Yun is not Elo as in reality Ali is not Allah. So there is no room in all good God or most high God to create evil or a devil. The people of the Bible and Quran have to pretend that the Egyptian Natsuru gods and Sumerian Anunnaki gods who both predate the Bible and Quran don't exist, or call they myth or fiction when they are indeed facts and is where the Jews, Christians and Muslims get the concepts of God, gods, angel, angels, devil, devils from. It was all an afterthought to them and is why it's not found in the Torah, first five books of Old Testament. The Jews or Hebrews learned it while in Babylon which was created by Nimrod a Sumerian Cushite Ethiopian. So the Hebrews got their religion from Sumerian Negroes and the Christians got it from them and the Muslims from them and so on. The Holy Tablets Chapter 10, Tablet 119, Yet, I created him of power, and by my light, he became fire, son of Shakur who is Tarnush, the son of Su, who is the father of evil, who is also known as Umbaba.